you guys know the story of Nick Bolletieri? You know Nick Bolletieri, the, the, the tennis, tennis coach? Player? Yeah, the tennis yeah, coach. I know, okay. Yeah, of course. Do you know who he is? Like, have you met uh, him? Yes, yes. He's so, in, down in South Florida. Yeah, he is in yeah, down he, South Florida. He used to teach all, okay. all my friends. So let me tell you who this guy is. Yeah. How, how do you describe him? Yeah, very his, tan, very his talented. students, his yeah. students, yeah. any of the students that went to his camp, how many champion, how many grand slams do you think they won? All his students that They've have crushed ever, it. They've crushed 180 it. grand slam winners yeah. came out. 180 total grand slams. He coached these I guys. I think your family okay. member Andre Agassi. Yeah, Andre was Agassi a, was his phenom. Yeah. Anyway, so there's a story. There's a documentary about this guy. There's a documentary about this guy where. He's uh, coaching players, right? And he's uh, coaching Jimmy Connors, and he's coaching uh, Agassi, and they're going back and forth. The story then goes to a, a story of a, a two girls that he was coaching. One of the girls is coming up, and she's crushing it. She's kicking ass, 11 years old. She's going to be the youngest, you know, to go out there and compete, all the stuff that's taking place with her. And then all of a sudden, the father comes up, and the father says, Nick, I want you to drop everybody, because the father was a very, very rich, like, billionaire. And he says, I want you to drop everybody. I just want you to coach my daughter. He's like, I can't do that. I got 100 kids here. It's, it's not my business model. He says, I'll pay you whatever you want. He says, you don't understand. That's not my business model. He says, I will pay. How much you make money? I'm going to make you this money. He says, I don't want the money. I want to coach the kids. Anyways, the pops uh, gets pissed. He says, I'm out of here. So he leaves. The daughter is telling the story. The girl that could have been a, she mm. says, well, my dad took me. He says, don't worry about it. We'll go find another coach. They go to another coach. Lower standards, they go to another coach, lower standards. The dad kept telling the daughter, don't worry about it. This guy's good for you. This guy's good for you. This guy's good for you. The girl's like, I eventually became a nobody. If I would have stayed with Nick, I would have been in the top three, right? Mm -hmm. And the whole story with Nick is standards and expectation. High, high standards and expectation. People rise up. Agassi, Courier, Sellis, uh, 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 what do you call it? The, the sisters, Sellis, all of bro. those guys went through him, right? What's the moral of the story here? Drop the standards. I believe that 12%, to me it goes back to the same thing, the 12% that has what it takes to dominate but they don't get the right challenge. They're not pushed. They're not challenged to do more. Somebody's not tough on it where the expectations high. You're going to lose that 12%. So I think this yeah, actually affects I agree. those like guys. Said, teacher, I fully believe teachers that. Teachers matter. Coaches I, I don't, matter. I don't do think it's just teachers because, remember, even Nick wasn't the one that was teaching everybody. Nick had 40 teachers that were teaching put people. put together a program. I think it's a system of standards. Yes. I think it's a mm -hmm. set of standards and protocols. When you have a certain set of high expectation and standards, one of two things is going to happen to you. Here's what happens. You're either going to respond to it or you're going to hate this guy forever. They kept telling stories of two people, two guys and two girls, Agassi and Jimmy Connors, right? Agassi was his phenom. Guess who's the only person that didn't want to do an interview on this, on this uh, documentary? Agassi's the only guy that refused to do the interview. All the other people agreed to do it. Why wouldn't Agassi do it? Who didn't do well with him is the people that hated high standards. Agassi hated it. And this other girl hated it. But Jimmy Connors loved it. Mm -hmm. So Jimmy Connors won eight grand slams. The, uh, mm -hmm. the people that like high standards, they like, responded to it. When you have high standards and expectation, this is what you produce. This is always going to happen. What is, the, what is the most annoying thing about a great example? When it's right. What's the most annoying thing about having a leader that's got a great example? Proven it's a great freaking record. example. It sucks. It absolutely sucks because you're like, the hell with you. So much pressure. I don't want to have to live up to this expectation. But what's mm -hmm. the best thing about having a guy like that? He can push you. Yep. But regardless, not everybody's going to fit to those standards. Correct. You're still going to produce some people that are going to be resenting it and coming out and saying, mm -hmm. you know what? Screw you. I hate that teacher. Everybody had that one coach that later on they hated, her. But deep down inside, they're like, the fuck, mother. Yep. Oh, yeah. Piece of shit. You know, that guy yeah. really had me. He had really challenged me. We all have that, right? Mm -hmm. I think this is, a, uh, this is a travesty what they're doing to the kids there because there could be a few phenoms that we're going to find out about 10, 20, 30, 40 years from now that we're probably going to lose. But I still think that there's a small percentage of people, put them at 1%, 2%, small percentage, they're going to figure out a way to kill them. So if you enjoyed this little short segment from the podcast that we did, here's another short segment to watch. Or if you want to see the entire podcast, click over here. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.